No, song has been um, has been studied very extensively in birds. I mean, for you know some obvious reasons. I mean, this is again, this is something that you you know we humans are sensitive to. Uh, singing is something that we can uh, measure and we can quantify uh, very relatively easily. So um, now we, we've got a model in which we measure a specific behavior that we can quantify and we can try to relate that to physiological parameters like hormones. Um, one of the really interesting questions that many people have been investigating, and we have done research on that as well, is to understand the relationship between hormones that are circulating in the blood uh, the brain and the behavior. One thing about song is that uh, no, there's a huge amount of variation there. You have some birds that sing very simple songs, and then you have birds like, for example, the mockingbird that we feel that sing very complex songs with everything in between. Okay, um, you have uh, species in which, from one year to the next the animal, the bird, essentially relearns the song, and so one year from now, that bird will be producing a song which is a little bit different uh, than the song it was producing the year before. It's like, you know, you are speaking a slightly different language from one year to the next, okay? And then you've got birds that do not do that. I mean, once they uh, have learned a song, they're going to be singing the same exact song for the rest of their life. It's very stereotyped, and they do not they do not change it in any way. Singing, in many cases, is actually an aggressive behavior. Okay, this is a behavior that the bird uses to say, this is my little territory, this is where I live, and essentially stay out of here. Okay, this is my sort of private property, I don't want you in here. Life in the desert, everything is about water, water availability. So now the projections are for you no know, less and less precipitation, desertification and so you know one of the thing is how is that going to affect animal populations you have all kind of really interesting biological questions that we can study now because these animals are still here and 50 years from now you may not ever have that opportunity these animals might be gone